South Africa's two premier astronomical instruments, the Southern African Large Telescope and the Square Kilometer Array, will take center stage at the 32nd General Assembly of the International Astronomical Union being held at the Cape Town ICC this week. It's the first time the meeting of the world's foremost astronomers will take place on the African continent. The meeting where decisions that thrust the discipline into the next gear takes place every year, every three years rather. Astronomy has seen significant growth on the African continent over the past two decades with the Karoo Array Telescope producing some of the best images in the world in terms of radio astronomy. The Meerkat uh, Telescope have uh, been uh, delivering groundbreaking images of the f furthest reaches of uh, space since operations began in 2018. And for more on this, so we're now joined by Kevin Govender of the International Astronomical Union. And he joins us now via our video link. Kevin, thank you so much uh, for your time. Of course, we understand the 32nd General Assembly of the International Astronomical Union takes place, uh, of course, uh, this uh, week in Cape Town. Maybe just tell us more about it. What can South Africans expect? Well, this is going to be um, a big celebration. We, uh, we've, we've made sure that uh, with this particular event, we want the members of the public to be as involved as possible. So not only is it the first time in the, uh, the, wow. that this conference is taking place on the African continent, so it's been all over the world, but it's never been on the African continent before. So it's the first time on the African continent, but also it's the first time that it will be open access, which means mm. that any member of the public, anyone anywhere in the world can basically follow all the talks live. So you will be hearing from the NASA's and the European Space Agency and all the international, uh, um, you know, big astronomy organizations and our homegrown brilliant scientists on the same level as everyone else and everyone at home will be able to stream it live. Mm. And while this is, you know, it, it's open to everyone in the country, one would also ask, what will it particularly focus on? What are the most challenging and pressing matters that it needs to address? Well, this is a meeting of the, of the world's astronomers, right? So let's, let's, let's see what, what astronomers are because like this meeting itself it's such a big gathering there's like 38 meetings all in one mm. over this eight day period and so it's anyone uh, you know everyone who's anyone in astronomy uh, uh, wants to present their work to their to their colleagues now astronomy itself is about exploring the universe and we explore the universe in different ways. So we, we, we look at uh, things called active galactic nuclei of galaxies. Uh, uh, we, we study stars, we study galaxies, we study the, 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 the evolution of, uh, 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 of galaxies, black holes. Um, and, you know, each one will have different sections. So we've got nine divisions within the International Astronomical Union. And uh, this meeting will have six scientific symposia focusing on different aspects of astronomy, as well as 12 focus meetings. So that looks at a particular area of interest. Um, and whether it's dealing with the sun or uh, uh, exoplanets or black holes, uh, uh, um, or where did the universe come from? Uh, where is it going? You know, massive cosmological uh, scales. Uh, all of these things. There'll be a place for everything within this massive conference. Mm. What makes this General Assembly very important? Why should South Africans or the world over be interested in what is uh, going to be taking place in Cape Town, especially particularly looking at the discussions that will be held? Well, there's two reasons here. Well, for me, there's two big points to take home. One is that the exploration of the universe is not unique to astronomers today. It's not unique to people who can build big telescopes. Our ancestors have looked up at the sky and wondered. Our ancestors have observed the changing phases of the moon, the changing positions of sunrise and sunset. Human curiosity is something that we share amongst ourselves across 
diverse backgrounds, but also across time with our ancestors and with um, with modern day explorers. Astronomers are just explorers for humanity. And what we explore, what we discover should be made accessible to all of humanity. And so this subject of astronomy is something that belongs to everyone. And so everyone should be a part of it. That's the one side. The other side is this is Africa and the world, you know, whether you like it or not, there is a perception of Africa uh, amongst the rest of the world, uh, a perception that Africa, you know, is sort of lower in some way or, you know, this concept of Afro pessimism. Here, this meeting is saying to the world, let's take the hardest problems you can imagine. Uh, you know, trying to figure out, you know, where life came from, where where uh, stars evolved from, wh wh where did the universe come from? You take the biggest questions imaginable, and we on the African continent are contributing just as much, if not more, than the best around yeah. the world. And if we can do that in astronomy, imagine what else we can do. And staying, you know, uh, with the issues of the African continent, I mean, you said earlier it's the first time that this takes place on the African continent, and quite in particular it takes place in South Africa, in Cape Town. What does it mean for the country? Well, when we said, let's bring the world's astronomers here, we thought to ourselves, you know, we can't just come to Cape Town. Uh, Cape Town is one part of a big country of South Africa. It's a part of a big continent of Africa. And so we said to, 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 to people, if you want to travel to Cape Town, let's plan your trip so that you can stop over in Ethiopia and, and, and engage. Because these are all astronomers, right? These are all the world's professional astronomers. Let's stop over uh, 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 in Nigeria. Let's stop over somewhere, uh, you know, where we can engage with young researchers, we can engage with, with school students. Uh, uh, let's travel out to, uh, to the Mpumalanga province. You know, you want to go visit Kruger Park, uh, uh, um, but then you, 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 you contact us and we put you in touch with schools in the region. And so through this, the, this, this initiative of like, you know, making sure that, making people's trips worth it in the sense that they, we want people to make as big an impact as possible. You know, uh, um, we're going to have over two and a half thousand astronomers part of this uh, this meeting, but uh, uh, um, we uh, and we and, and we asked everyone, you know, who's prepared to do this, and and we had over six hundred of them saying yes, hook me up with the school, and I'll go and talk to kids, I'll inspire kids. And so we've got this massive program of outreach now where our delegates are actually going with our volunteers, with our local South African hosts, visiting schools, visiting science centers, visiting uh, uh, um, um, historically black institutions, trying to engage with early career researchers. And this is a broader impact than just sort of coming for a scientific meeting. But it's something that can be done for any scientific meeting. All right, uh, Kevin, thank you so much uh, for your time and uh, for that insight. That's uh, Kevin Governor there. Uh, he is from the International Astronomical Union, saying that thousands of astronomers will be converging on uh, in Cape Town. Of course, uh, uh, this is uh, for this eight-day, 32nd General Assembly of the International Astronomical Union.